Welcome to this introductory video of Lightspeed Order Ahead. My name is Juji, and in this video I will walk you through how to set up your online ordering platform with your Lightspeed L-Series point of sale. We will talk about how to set up your restaurant manager, the setup wizard in your online ordering back office, how does receiving orders and order management look like, and where can you find reporting. So let's get started. Firstly, we will talk about how to set up products for your online menu. Log into your Lightspeed Restaurant back office and navigate to the Products tab of the navigation bar. Then click on Categories, and to group your items for your online ordering menu, you need to create shortcut categories. Click the Add Shortcut Category button, enter the name of the menu category you would like to create, starting with the name Order Ahead. Don't forget to uncheck the visible checkbox so that you don't see the category on your point of sale. Now we need to add products to this category. Head to the new category you just created and simply click the Add Product button and select any of the products you would like to offer in this category. You can now repeat this for additional categories as well. If you want to upsell products, you can create another shortcut category with the name Order Ahead Upsells and add products to this. When a customer places an order, they will be offered to add these products to their card before checking out. You can also set different prices for dining, takeaway and delivery. Click on a product and set a different price under the advanced section. If you tick these boxes, the price will default to the normal price for both takeaway and delivery. Otherwise, you will see them adjusting while we are placing an order later on. Now that we are in our restaurant manager, we should also think about staff permissions. In order to accept online orders, we need to provide certain permissions to our staff. So navigate to the Users and User Groups tab. Choose the profile which you would like to edit. To grant permission to accept orders, select the option Allow Edit Receipts Other Users. To grant permission to cancel and refund orders, select the option Allow Void Receipt and Allow Edit Finalized Receipts. Now log out of your Lightspeed Restaurant point of sale and re-log in to enable the settings. Repeat this action for other user groups as required. We have one more setup in our Restaurant Manager and that is enabling auto accept and new order alert sounds. So navigate to the Devices tab of the navigation bar on the left, click on the Restaurant App Settings tab, choose the profile for which you would like to enable auto accept for and scroll down to the online ordering section. You can configure your point of sale to either play a sound when a new order comes in or automatically accept new orders. If you enable both, the point of sale will auto accept online orders and the sound notification will be bypassed. So what's the difference between the options we have here? The customer facing order statuses, order placed, order in progress and order complete are dependent on the online ordering settings configured from restaurant manager. If your device profile is set to automatically accept and finalize online orders, the order is automatically received by the point of sale and generates an almost automatic ready for pickup message for your customer. If your device profile is set to automatically accept online orders, the order is automatically received by the point of sale and the customer facing message on order ahead auto updates to VR preparing your order. Only once a point of sale user finalizes the receipt does the message on order ahead changes to order ready for pickup. If your device profile is set to manually accept and finalize online orders, the order is sent to your point of sale but a user must manually accept and finalize the incoming order. Only when the order is accepted and finalized will the customer see a status update on order ahead. In the same group of settings, Tap the checkbox beside Disable Device Sleep to ensure that the device does not go to sleep while running restaurant point of sale. This will ensure your incoming online orders are received. If you want the device to play a notification bell sound for each incoming online orders, tap the checkbox beside Sound Effects and from the drop-down menu specify how you want the notification to sound. You can choose to play the sound once or repeat the alert until the orders have been accepted, or of course disable the sound alert. As a next step, let's look at our online ordering setup. With the Order Ahead onboarding wizard, you can set up your account quickly and easily. Once you log into your Order Ahead back office, you will be guided through the setup process. 
Step 1 is confirming your business name and your subdomain for your online menu. Please note, if you edit this URL in the future, the original URL will no longer work. Step 2 is confirming your business location's address, phone number, currency and tax settings. If your product prices are inclusive of VAT in your restaurant manager, you should enable the include taxes in the, in the display price setting. If you only want to use order ahead for certain locations, you can change this in the locations module on the left hand side after the initial setup. Step 3, we are confirming our location we are setting up and click on continue. In step 4, we will select our time zone and specify our online ordering hours. You can have different time slots available during the day, for example, have a lunch time slot and a dinner time slot if you don't want to take orders during the afternoon. Keep in mind to set the time to the last time you are happy to accept orders. If, for example, your location is open until 10 pm, but the last order you'd like to process should arrive by 9.30 pm, set the ordering hour slot to be available until 9.30 pm. On this page, you can also set up peak hours for your restaurant. This means during your busiest hours, you can have a longer preparation time and you can also limit the number of orders you would like to receive so your kitchen can manage the volume better. This is set up on the next page. So in this next step, step 5, we can set up our generic preparation time that gives your customers an estimate how long their meal preparation will take. This time frame will apply for all orders except the ones received during peak hours. You can also allow your customers to order not only for pickup as soon as possible, but also for future dates and times. This can be either for the current day or up to seven days in advance. In this dropdown, you can also specify the intervals for available future order times. These are the intervals customers will be able to select from. If you'd like to offer curbside pickup as a pickup option, you can toggle this option and add pickup instructions as well. If you are fulfilling your deliveries, you can enable delivery with order head, set up a delivery radius in kilometers, which the system will calculate based on your address. You can set up a separate time range for deliveries, and you can enter a delivery charge on top and specify the minimum order amount if there is any. You can also incentivize customers by offering free delivery if their order amount reaches the amount set here. You are not only able to offer deliveries, but you can also use order ahead for order to table. Enable the dining option here if you'd like to allow your customers to order to their tables. If you want to add some instructions for your customers, you can do that here, but it's not mandatory. Now let's go to step six. Depending on your country you use order ahead in, you can select your additional payment types here. Our default payment type is Stripe, and you can also enable in-store payments so customers can pay at their tables or at the, at the time of pickup. When you turn on tipping, customers can add preset amounts or a custom amount to their order totals. You can decide which percentage, percentages you'd like to display and what should be the default tip that will be suggested to the customers. Step 7 is where you can connect your Stripe account to order ahead. Please note, you will need to create a business account with Stripe before you can link it to the order ahead platform. Once your business account is ready, on this page you will see a connect to Stripe button. This will redirect you to con the connection form, fill this form and save that. Once this is done, you will be able to take payments online right away. Based on the products you added to your order ahead shortcut categories, you will see the preview of your menu in step 8. If you're happy with it, just click on continue to proceed to our last step. If you need to make changes, please go back to your restaurant manager and amend your categories and products accordingly. We have now finished the basic setup, but there are a few other things we can also do. To customize your design, you can click on the Go to Design button, which you can also revisit by clicking on the Design module on the left hand side. Here you can customize your navigation bar color and button colors, and your logo and, ba and banner for the page. This can also be displayed on your table signs along with the QR codes. Speaking of which, let's take a look at the QR code generator next. We have two options for the QR code designs. One is the mentioned table sign design, and the other is just simply printing the QR codes without any design. You also have a few options for QR code destinations. You can use it for the pickup and delivery orders, and they look like this with the table sign design. 
or you can generate QR codes for dining, in which case you can add your tables here. So when the customer scans the code, the system will automatically assign their table number to their orders. Lastly, you can also just enter the URL where your customer should be directed to. You can also customize the text that's on the table signs. Just input or change your text here and click on the print preview. If you need to change any of your initial settings, you can click on the locations module on the left, select the location and adjust your settings for everything we just set up. Plus, you can arrange your menus in different ways. You can limit your orders you wish to receive per time slot and you can do this for normal and peak hours as well. Now let's take a quick look how this all looks for our end customers and for you on the point of sale. We can see on this mobile view how my menu items synchronized over based on the shortcut categories. Let's put a few items in the basket. I will select this cappuccino, then add another food item as well, and then click on review my order. Here we can see the upsell items I added, which will show every time I place a new order. So now I just add a chocolate cake to the cart as well. So now that we are on the checkout page, we can select if it's pickup, delivery or dining order. With the pickup option, we can select when we'd like to pick up our order and opt for curbside pickup as well. As I click through these options, I can also see the prices adjusting due to the different pricing for the different order methods I set up in Restaurant Manager. If we go for the delivery option, we can also see the delivery fee added and I can see how much more I should spend to be eligible for free delivery. Then with dining option, I can enter my table number unless I already scanned it on the table and the system recognizes it automatically. Now let's go to the payment. I can either create an account or as I have ordered food here before, I can just log in. Please note your customers always have to create an account to be able to order. If you use Lightspeed Loyalty, they can collect points with their orders. However, currently there is no option to redeem them online. As I already have an account and my, and my payment method is already saved, I can just use that card. Or I can opt for payment at pickup, which I will go for this time and wait for my order to be prepared. Now let's take a look at what else I can see on my account. So I can manage my payment methods here, look at my order history, update my phone number and change my default language to French or Dutch. Okay, so now that we saw the customer experience, let's look at what you will have to do when you manually accept orders. We are placing an online order at the moment, which then comes through to our point of sale. I'm now printing this order which then changes the status for my customer to order in progress. Then I finalize the order, which also triggers the status update. If you are accepting orders automatically, we can see that the orders print right away on the printer and we don't have to do anything manually. Lastly, if you'd like to see your report on the online orders, go to your restaurant manager, receipt and filter to order ahead. This will list all the orders you received from your new order ahead platform. Otherwise, log into your order ahead back office, go to your locations and click on the view orders. Here you can select the time period you like to list the orders for. Then you can see the list of orders with different statuses, their pickup times and order types. You can also filter for the statuses of your orders if they were submitted, accepted already, completed, cancelled or refunded. Hope you liked this video and if you have any questions, please get in touch with us. We would be very happy to help. Have a nice rest of the day. Bye bye.